Hello, hi. I still don't have a greeting, but that's okay. I'm just gonna say whatever I want. Hello, bonjour, konnichiwa. I hope you're doing well. Um, guten, guten Tag? I forget, is that how you say good day in German? Anyway, we're still here in Hailfire Peaks. You know, I was thinking about what else I could do in here um, before having to inevitably backtrack because I know there's some things in previous levels um, that you have to do first before good before doing stuff in here. That was that was just a series of unfortunate button presses. Um, off the top of my head, though, I do recall uh, Boggy wanting a fish, and I've got a recollection of the fish being on the fire side. So I'm going to try and get the fish. Um, I think you have to carry it with Banjo, so I'm just gonna go back to the split-up pad. I'm gonna take Banjo for a spin. I guess I could find a split-up pad on the fire side too, but... Eh, there's one here, why not use it? My opening could be Welcome to my Minecraft Let's Play regardless of what game I'm playing. Does that get funnier, I think, the longer I go without actually playing Minecraft? Ugh. Man, I'm never going to adjust to this uh, using um, a 360 controller for this game. And yet, like, it's on a rare replay. So if I played the rare replay version, I assume, because the controls are redone um, for a 360 controller in mind. Hang on, I don't want to go this way. I want to go into Humba's wigwam here. I haven't taken the train yet, that's true. Um, I'm thinking about... I do need to go back to Jolly Roger's uh, Lagoon for some stuff in this world. Hello Hey feels very welcoming and very Mori. You know what, I'll take that. Oh, thank you. Honey, I'm calm. That's my stream title if you're watching this on YouTube. A pool of water I can walk into near, near here too. Oh, excellent. Okay, so I know somewhere there's a pool. Good. Um, that has fish in it. I'm not sure exactly where it is, though. Um, I don't even know what's in this little alcove. I don't remember. I could check it out. I'm pretty sure I've been in there, but I'm gonna find out anyway if I can get on the ledge, Banjo. Thanks. Please don't get bitten. Excellent. Nothing I need here? Was this a waste? Oh well, whatever. I had to look. I've been playing Etrian Odyssey 4 um, during my spare time at home when I can manage it. Oh, this is... okay. This is where that flight pad is. Um, and it's nice to have just a consistent map of places, can I say. I love having a map. I wish this game had a map because the levels are so big. Oh, how has Metroid Prime been, been doing? Um, so I got... What is the last thing I mentioned getting on stream here? Um, I have... I know it will be news to you, Jokes. I already told you, but I got the X-ray visor. A.K.A. Oh my god, I can see into the ghost dimension and it's full of ghosts. Um, is the fish down here? I don't know if it's down... No, buddy. Buddy, leave me alone. I don't know if the fish is down here, but I'm gonna look down here anyway, after I have a snooze. That is not the right button. What's my snooze pack? This one? This one. Oh, thank you, right, fam. Let me check my posture, and I will hydrate Nemo as soon as I finish thinking about what I've done in Metroid. So I have the x-ray visor. I can grapple now. Grappling is great. I love being able to grapple. So many places... Oh, that's right. I couldn't go in here. Or rather, I couldn't open it because some overly sensitive pig who does not want their flesh to be boiled, I guess, does not want all this hot water in their swimming hole. But, like, think of it. It's a free sauna, buddy. Uh-oh. Anyway, everywhere is filled with Chozo ghosts in, in Metroid Prime, and they're very inconvenient. Uh, let me take a snooze again and drink some water. Banjo's going to recover and so am I.
Yeah, me too, buddy. Me too. I also wish I could restore health by napping in real life. Does anyone here actually restore health by napping in real life? Like, do you nap and then feel refreshed and invigorated afterwards? Well, there's a split-up pad here. Oh, well. There's a warp pad right next to the other one, so it's not like it's going to be hard to get back. You wish you could nap on command. That would be an impressive superpower and probably also alarming to people around you if you just dropped off. Yeah, heaven forbid the pigs wait for the water to cool. Hey. I'm glad I could just pick that fish up. Because I thought, boy, it's really big. I hope I can just shove it in my, Or I can just pick it up without having to uh, shove it in my backpack. But that's good. I have a fish. So I can take this to Boggy. And maybe we'll see if we can open the next level. I'm thinking about jiggies I can get, and some of them require, a lot of them require backtracking to previous worlds, which I haven't done yet except for the foray into Mayhem Temple to be a stony. Okay, I side lower area. Here we go. Those pigs are so demanding, aren't they? That's working with the public for you, I guess. People want things right now. They need that instant gratification. I feel like there is a good line from The Simpsons about it that I can't quite recall off the top of my head. I don't remember how to get that either. Oh, the train. Um, but it's about Lisa saying something about our like instant oatmeal society where everybody needs instant gratification. They need satisfaction now. Oh, hello, Kapodoko. I hope you've been well. I've missed your particular brand of bad dad jokes. You're just in time for everybody's favorite show. It's Mr. Pants. Hi, Boggy. Disgusting. That fish was still alive. Ugh. What are you shoving in your gullet, dude? What was that? Whoa, the fish must have swallowed a jiggy. Well... If it's not edible, I don't want it. Fair enough, Boggy. I'll add it to our collection. Be my guest. I got stuff to watch. Oh, hey, Boggy, how far you have fallen. I almost feel bad for him. Well, the, the pants in the, the UK sense. You know, the... When we, we say pants versus when they say pants, it's completely different. Like in Japanese, when you say pants, it, it's, it's underwear. No, no, no. I have to go to the train station, too. Is the train station on the ice side just across this walkway that I've stepped off of twice now? Because the switch was here. You nap to stay up later at later at night so you can game. I feel like that doesn't work for me. So this is not the train station. Which way is the train station on the icy side? I don't remember. Oh, there's no station on the ice side? Hmm. Okay, that must be why I can't find it. Well, I know I got into the fire side before with Gobi. I just can't think of exactly where it was. And it's haunting me. So what is that cave over there? Does that lead to the fire side? Too bad we don't get a jiggy for staging an intervention for Boggy. I think I would be owed more than one single jiggy for that. An hour and 20 minutes. That sounds like a good length of time for a nap. <laughs> um, what do you mean, Kapotoko? Kazooie has always been a dragon. Stations at the top of the Colosseum, thank you. Um, and then I don't know if there's a reason for me to be in this icicle cavern, because I already got the Jiggy and the Jinjo in here. And I don't think I can break through... Can I break through that? I don't feel like I can. Come on, man. Something to the left of the entrance to the icicle cavern. Now, the, from the way I just came from, or the way I'm going? Because I don't remember. Oh. I'll take that. Oh no, it's right, you're a Minjo! And you're just kind of stuck. Inside the cave from the entrance I took, thank you. 
Have I been up here already? And like, I just don't remember because these items have refrozen. I'm just poking around in here. Huh. Um, the serious answer though, okay, I have done everything out here, is that um, there is a secret you can unlock. Stop that. If you get a, uh, the ice key, you can get a mega globo. And then you can turn Kazooie into a dragon, which doesn't really mean a lot, but she has fire breath and infinite fire eggs and is a dragon. I mean, that's pretty cool. You watched Moonraker, huh? <laughs> Boy, Moonraker is, um, I have not seen that one in a long time. Can I climb up here? I can. Um, but the only way I can think of how to describe that movie is space eugenics also i need a split up pad don't i because i need oh wait no can i try a clockwork kazooie egg let me try that um eh. either i have to go in here as banjo all tiny or i have to run a clockwork kazooie egg through here okay is there anything else i can get in here by one more Cheeto page, I could actually turn it in for a reward. Nope. Moonraker is... I don't even know how I would describe it. It's definitely not good. Whether it's enjoyably bad, I don't remember. One of the James Bond movies with Jaws in it. They took a surprisingly long time to actually get into space. Many say this about the original Willy Wonka. Did anybody here read, like, um, Charlie and the Great Glass Elevator? Um, which was the sort of sequel to, uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? I don't remember it as well because I haven't read it as much, um, as Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Uh, I'm gonna find a warp pad and get to the fireside. So I'll just take the one over here. Does anybody remember what happens in that book? <laughs> no, I'm trying to think really hard about it and I'm just blanking utterly. Diamonds are forever. What happens in that one? I feel like James Bond movies, and I haven't seen all of them, but they're kind of like Looney Tunes cartoons for me, just in the sense that sometimes the title of the cartoon is not always indicative of the content it contains, and my brain can't remember what happens in it. That was the last official Connery one. <gasps> Why can't... Well, my brain tries to think about what happens in Diamonds Are Forever. My brain instead defaults to die another day, which emphatically is not a good one at all. Am I just... Yeah, up here. Okay. Just had to see. Um, they go to Vegas. Connery does not care. Blofeld dresses up like an old lady. Maybe I haven't seen that one. Because I'm drawing a blank on it. The two gay henchmen who have the best, best deaths in the series. Pouring one out for them. Gosh darn it, I gotta not read chat while I'm doing this, but it's fun. I'd rather read chat and fall into lava a few times. No. Stop that. Oh, you had not read Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and somebody gave you the Great Glass Elevator one. I wonder how confusing that would be. Okay, this is where the kickball the Coliseum is. So the train station's around here somewhere. I don't remember exactly where, though, is the problem. I got the jiggy there. I mean, I could also just take the train, like, somewhere else. Have I been there? Can I get over there without injuring myself? Maybe if I flew? Or there's probably another exit. Yeah, I feel like I haven't actually seen Diamonds Are Forever because I'm blanking on it. Again, I haven't seen every James Bond movie. Um, but if one is not aware, I have kind of a soft spot for them. Just because they're so... I don't know, over the top? I hate these freaking gargoyles. Stop it. You would just fly? It has Sausage King Jimmy Dean. The real Mr. Dean? 
Yeah, I think flying would be more expedient. Hello. Is there even anything I need out here, aside from an angry beehive? The 2005 Charlie the Chocolate Factory movie will most likely fall into the movies you liked when they were new that really, really don't hold up if you were to watch it now. Yeah, I try and think about what happened in that one, and I can't really remember. It just kind of leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Oh, there's a Cheeto page I can reach out there. Eh, let's fly. The uh, original Charlie and the Chocolate Factory movie, though, is still a good time, I think. Um, what's his name? Gene Wilder? I always forget names. Uh, does a good job as Willy Wonka himself. Stop that, please. Please. Uh, the Oompa Loompa songs are, of course, very irritating, but that's... I think they're designed to be. Oh, Chiyoshi, hello! It's good to see you. I guess this is, uh better for your time zone, isn't it? Willy Wonka's one of your favorite films. What are some of your other favorite films? I always love hearing chat sharing stuff that they're excited about. Or stuff that they really hate, but like in a... Like, not just, um, you know, like, eh, it was bad, it was boring way, but like, uh, this, this actively ticked me off, it was so terrible. I need to share the misery with someone else by tearing into it. Okay, so where's the train station on this side? Oh, Don, hello! I hope you have also been well. It's not this up here, is it? I don't think it is. And if it's not, oh well, I'm going in this hole anyway. You can't stop me. Oh yeah, here's the train station. Excellent. Hi, Gobi. I don't have to, but, <laughs> you know, because it's there. Oh, I got rejected from the train. Come on, up. Come on, please. Can I not get in from this side or something? Let me up, please. Okay, okay, fine. Uh, how I get... I didn't want to do that. I did not want to do that. Please grab the ledge, Banjo. Okay. There we go. Your favorite films outside of... Uh, hang on, maybe I should wait to read this. Okay, I'm just gonna... I'm not gonna make it! I'm not gonna make it! Ouchie. Okay. Favorite films outside of Willy Wonka. Blade Runner 2049, that was a good one. And I haven't seen Arrival. How come I can only climb this ladder? I, uh, your other ladder is broken, I'd like to file a complaint. Villeneuve? Am I saying that right? Okay, let's go here. Oh no, I really appreciate you coming by to say hi, that makes me really happy. Please enjoy the rest of your day and take care. Villeneuve? Uh, my my poor French pronunciation is showing bad Canadian right here. Villeneuve. It's fun to try and say words in other languages, though. You watched one of his French-Canadian works, Incendier. Incendier? Am I saying that right? And was shocked by how horrifically dark it was. Oh. I won't make you get into it, then, if it's uncomfortably dark. How do you all feel about bleak movies? I can't deal with them personally because I'm too soft-hearted and I like my entertainment to have an escapist quality to it. Um, so adventure stories and the like. Um, games where I save the world. Stop that. So I'm not a, I'm not a fan of like things about the apocalypse or people being horrible to one another. Can you stop following me? You assume it rhymes with chicken tendies. Incendies. <laughs> Here we go. There's another jiggy. Excellent. I think I can probably open the next world now. I'm pretty sure I have enough. I want to say it's 45 for the next world. And if it's not, well... 
I mean, there's still several jiggies I can get by backtracking. I don't have to kill this ninja. I really don't, but he's annoying me. Stop it. Stop it. Leave me alone. No autographs. Is there anything else I need here? Or is it just ice? And eggs? And probably suffocating with all the, the coal pollution, the smog being pumped into this small cage. Oh, Poppy, hello! You own Banjo-Kazooie 1 with the box? Heck yeah! Do you have the sequel as well? Um, I guess I could just exit the, the world normally, couldn't I? But uh, Let's go to the Isle of Hags. Why not? How have you been, Poppy? It's a problem with being in different time zones, huh? Well, you never played it. I'd recommend Banjo-Tooie, um, but it's definitely a lot bigger than Banjo-Kazooie, as those of you watching can tell. Um, the worlds are much larger and there's a lot more backtracking and there's a lot more interconnected jiggies where you'll have to sometimes do multiple steps in other worlds. Oh, you do have Paper Mario 1. Excellent. I love the first Paper Mario. It was posited to me the other day, like, what Paper Mario game is your favorite? And that's tough to say. Like, between the original on the N64 and Thousand Year Door. And, you know, the combat, okay, not the best. Stop that. But, um, thinking about where I'm going here. I need to go to the silo. Um, the music and the writing in Origami King were so good that I can forgive the foibles in the battle system. There's a silo. Do you know what well, I'm gonna do while I'm here? And I'm sure I'm gonna have to backtrack to this dang level again anyway, but I just remembered something I can do here. There's a limit to bleakness. You really enjoy tragic stories and circumstances with a certain finality to them, but there's definitely a threshold. Something like Schindler's List would be a good, maybe too much film. Yeah, that's would be a very tough watch. Well, thank you, Poppy. I'm honored to be thought of. I have been pretty tired, honestly. Saturday is not my usual banjo day, but I had to take some time just because I was having some back pain the other day. Much better now, thankfully. I had a uh, deep tissue massage a little before stream, which was good in the restorative sense, but boy, the masseuse, she was very strong, and nothing like somebody digging an elbow into all the knots in your back. Woof. Hello. Greetings, feeble earthlings. Whoa, real aliens. Are any of you called Elvis? No, we're Elf, Betty, and Gamo. We're also in a bit of a fix. Let me guess, you need to phone home? No, we have a cell phone for that. The drive unit on our ship has run out of fuel. It's powered by crystallized ice, but we don't have any. I'm sure we'll be able to sort something out. I was gonna say, isn't Elvis a perfect dark reference? Can I talk to these aliens? Our ship has run out of fuel as we have no ice to power it. Not so superior now, are we? Wow, Kazooie. Why do you have a Minjo in your ship? Wow, maybe it's their family pet and I should leave it alone. Our ship has run out of fuel. Oh, you have no ice. Okay, Kazooie just says the same thing rudely to everyone. Okay. Oh, I hate aiming with this joystick. No. Nope. If I could just, like, position it perfectly in the middle, but no. Power up the other crystals quickly. Oh man. Ugh. Pain. Suffering. Okay, good. Good. Please, I'm trying to do like minute movements and it's not working. Nope. I got to do it again. Sorry, aliens, I broke your ship. You have failed us, pathetic earthlings. Fix your own ship then. By the way, 
Do any of you have green cards? Kazooie, wow. Jeez. Kazooie gets cancelled. There we go. Okay, I should be lined up properly in the middle at least. Oh my gosh. You can see I can't really do delicate movements here with this control setup, so I just kind of have to suffer, please. No. Hello, defeated sanity! Which is just what is happening to me right now. <laughs> I cannot hold Zed to slowly move the cursor because, unfortunately, that's the button that fires the eggs. I think? Actually, no, what do I have mapped as my, my Z button? Hang on. Let me, let, let me fiddle with something here. Um, you're definitely not seeing it. No, you can't see the menu, so never mind. Um, what do I have set as my... Yeah, no, that's... That's what I'm using. So, hmm, 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 hmm. I think, actually, wait, no. Uh, no, I have no way of slowing down the movement, unfortunately. I wish. On uh, DK64, it's B to fire. Alas, not here. Maybe Rare learned. Uh, excellent taste. I also love this game. Unfortunately, trying to play an <coughs> emulated version with um, a 360 controller when the game is expecting you to have C buttons is not the easiest thing. Please go in, please. We're so close. Please. Oh my god. Please. Oh my god, I'm going crazy. I'm going crazy. Please. Hang on, let me fiddle with something else here. I wonder if I can adjust the input so it's less fussy, less fiddly. Oh man. Ugh. I'm gonna pretend that the jerkiness is due to Kazooie not wanting to cooperate because she doesn't like these aliens out of spite and she's just jerking her head around to be as annoying as possible. Oh my gosh, please. Please, I'm trying so hard. I'm trying so hard. I'll go in. <laughs> I'm gonna run out of eggs. I'm gonna run out of eggs. I'm gonna have to leave to get more eggs. If I could just move it so it's like centered. Oh man, this is miserable. No, I'm gonna run out of eggs. I have to leave <laughs> and get more eggs. My god. Just Minjo kill me now. Yeah, the jetpack game on Donkey Kong 64 is fun, but I remember the original Donkey Kong arcade game in Donkey Kong 64. Trying to get the the coin for that was rough. Man, I can't even easily get ice eggs. <laughs> I just got to leave the level and come back another time. It's brutal. If I'm not misremembering, in Donkey Kong 64, if you want the Nintendo coin, you have to beat it, I think, twice on one life? Can you die between, like, you clear it once, then can you die, but you, do you, or do you have to do it twice in one life? I just remember it took me a while. You know what I also can do while I'm here that will not take up my eggs is, uh, the sludge here? I think I can turn the sludge off. If I go in here. You get two lives on the second attempt. Ooh. That's so gracious of them. The first time you play is for a banana. So remember, it didn't take me long to get the jetpack coin, but the... Um, the Nintendo coin did take me a bit. Granted, it's been a while. So how many bananas do you have, Endora? I guess for those of you who don't know, Endora here has been... Um, 100%ing Donkey Kong 64 on stream, which is incredibly gutsy, and I respect it. I would not have the patience. I'd lose my mind. Thanks, giant teddy bear. Now our water is crystal clear. But it's still too cold. Oh, but we don't want it too hot, either. You're like the coffee shop customer I had once who said they wanted their latte to be... 143 degrees. I'm pretty sure they were sincere. Another Minjo. Minjo's all the way down. 
He did 100% on DK64 recently. It doesn't take as long as you think, huh? How long did it take you? The daunting part to me is the fact that you have to go back to the tag barrels to switch between Kongs. I know there's a mod out there that... Oh, there's a doubloon. There's two doubloons. Three doubloons? Maybe four. Uh, there's a mod out there that lets you switch Kongs anywhere. Um, it sounds like it would make things a lot more tolerable. I wish you could just pick up anything with any Kong. No, 143 degrees Celsius. No, Fahrenheit. <laughs> it's Fahrenheit. Hello, Claire. I don't know. I don't think he brought a thermometer, but I did try and stop it as close to 143 as I could, just because... I mean, what if? I don't I don't want to deal with that complaint. You get one sip of that superheated latte, and then you wake up in the hospital. <laughs> you just respawn. Your cousin, who was maybe 12 or 13 um, at the time, couldn't even beat it. I assume Donkey Kong 64, I assume, or I assume the, the um, classic Donkey Kong arcade game. Oh, when your cousin asked you to try and beat it, you were seven or eight at the time, huh? I'm surprised that they uh, went to a younger cousin to beat that for them. 30-ish hours? I mean, I guess for Donkey Kong 64, I have to think about if that's a lot or not. I mean, for everything in it, for a platformer. And like, if you know where things are versus a first playthrough. Oh goody, it is 45. It'd be more of an inhale than a sip. I uh, never did fix the issue here, so it's still going to be pixelated. But that's okay. Um, it's just going to censor the next world. Ugh. Good. No, oh, it's further up. There we go. Dang, this is trippy. Nope. This one? There we go. Corner pieces are king, and it's never been more true than here. Nope. Eh. The thing that just popped into my head. Um, for brownies and, I don't know, cornbread and other things that are baked in a pan, do you like... Uh, side pieces, edge pieces, or middle pieces the best. I know that's kind of a polarizing thing amongst people, but I'm curious. Yeah, what issue do, do I mean? I don't, I don't know what I'm talking about. You don't know what I'm talking about. This, this puzzle looks totally normal. It's got to be a level made entirely of ice with occasional flashes of gold. No. Mori, why don't you do the corner pieces? I know, but I got to do these eventually. Here, there we go. There we go. Uh, here. I like it when there's like big swaths of color on them so I at least have an idea of where they go. At last, not totally hosed by touchy controls. Excellent. Woohoo. When a pizza's cut into squares, you really dislike the centerpieces. You gotta have crust on pizza, plus it's harder to eat. Young children are surprisingly adaptive when it comes to difficult games. I concur. I mean, there's a lot of stuff I beat when I was little that I have to step back and go, dang, good job, little Mori. Like, 100%ing Donkey Kong Country 2. That puzzle sucks, it's basically all one color in the original game anyway. But, you know, I don't remember. Oh, it's up there. Because I was trying to think, I don't remember where the entrance to this world is, but there it is. I, I remember the bubble, which you'll see in a moment. There we go. Give laser, get bubble. Yes, I'm not worthy. I don't have enough jiggies. I think it's 55 for the next one. Let me make sure. Yes, okay. Ocarina of Time, I think, is pretty daunting if one is a small child, because it's so big. And especially when it came out, 
Um, you know, odds are you probably hadn't played anything else like it. I remember the feeling of playing Ocarina of Time when I was little and how when you get to Hyrule Field for the first time, it just feels so huge and expansive. And of course, looking back at it now, it's pretty empty. There's not really much to find in Hyrule Fields. I remember being disappointed that, wow, I have a Pona, I can ride everywhere on a horse and it's fast and cool and I can do all these leaps over obstacles, but you can only really ride her in Hyrule Field in Gerudo Valley. Um, but at the time, you feel so powerful and cool. Cute here to ride in the Great Bubble Elevator up to the clouds! Oh yes, the British Q. I mean... It's, Deku Tree has got to be really tough if you're five years old. I think that's a lot of dexterity and thinking outside the box for a five-year-old. Um, especially things like even using the, the slingshot to uh, look around in three dimensions and shoot those skulltulas on the walls. You only first played Ocarina of Time in high school when it came out on Virtual Console. Uh, hello, I think his name is Mr. Fit, if I remember correctly. Fancy a little physical exercise for a ball? No, really. Yes, you do, Banjo. Right, I'm Mr. Fit, and I'm really fit, I am. So fit, in fact, that if you can beat me in three events, I'll give you my fitness gold medal. That's nice. It is, actually. As you can probably see, event one is the high jump. The bar is set at my best height. All you need to do is jump over it to win. Ugh. Back in elementary school, you were invited to several kids' houses so you could help them get through Ocarina of Time temples. We. You remember when Custom Robo 2004 was the best written game he'd ever played? It wasn't the GameCube, yeah? I've never played Custom Robo. Oh, shoes. Wait, can I take these shoes over? This level is a mess. You know what really surprised me um, was I was not aware that Cloud Cuckoo Land was an old concept. Oh, jeez, the wobble. Yeah. Wing. Uh, how did you do that? Never mind. We'll move on to event two when you find me. Get out of here. All that sense of wonder in Hyrule Field quickly turns to fear when you encounter your first pea hat and get ambushed by stall children. I remember little Mori quickly discovered that if you stay on the dirt path, the stall children do not harass you. Um, but the pea hats, boy, that uh, stymied my urge to explore for a long time. Just because they're so big and daunting and loud. I can deal with them now, but boy, I was just too terrified to explore when I was little. Yeah. You played Ocarina of Time when you were 13. Oh, hang on. I found a strange looking seed. Is it edible? Boy, I was gonna make a joke about Kazooie eating it, but there we go. You played Ocarina of Time when you were 13, and you I remember getting stuck forever trying to enter the Goron Cave to get the Triforce of Power. Does anybody remember all the rumors that were everywhere about getting the Triforce in Ocarina of Time? Like, boy, those were so ubiquitous. It was like El is real, but more aggressive. Wasn't this level essentially just rare, loosely connecting all their stray ideas that didn't fit into any other theme? I would buy it. Grunty Industries is one of your favorite levels. I mean, it's a fun level. I like the concept of it. Is it an unpopular opinion? I don't know. Ow. That's unpopular. Ow. Um, I do get turned around, though, a lot, as you've seen. Gosh, boy, they really just put whatever here. He's got a sausage! My god. Run. At game design camp, you made a 3D marble game and every platform in it, it was just a random 3D model you did. Did you have the teapot? You know, like the, the de facto basic 3D shape, the teapot. I want a marble game in the teapot. Super Monkey Ball has the teapot. Oh, 
Also defeated sanity, what do you prefer to be called? If there is a short form of your name that you prefer, or the whole thing, I can do either. But I'm curious to know what your least favorite level is. Eh. You read that as 3D Barbie game and the rest still made perfect sense to you. I mean, why not? Ugh. Hello. Boy, this plant's existence just looks miserable. Ugh. I mean, can somebody get it some eye drops? I feel kind of bad for it. <gasps> there she is. There she is. Hey, young man. I'm George Ice Cube, stuck up here at this perilous altitude. What happened, George? I was out walking on the icy side of Hailfire Peaks with my wife, Mildred, when a huge blizzard came along and blew me away. Why not stay up here? Lovely view. I'm afraid of heights. Now, I reckon I'm above the icy side, so if you could just give a little push. And if you're wondering, much like Mildred, yes, you have to. Please give me a nudge over the edge. How I long to see my wife on the icy side of Hailfire Peaks again. Oh, don't worry, buddy. You'll see your wife very soon. Very soon, indeed. No! Wrong side! Tell Midrid, Mildred I love her. Midrid. <laughs> There's no witnesses. Nobody saw it. Oh, look, now, now the pigs can have their bath water. Isn't it dark that we literally destroyed this entire family of ice cubes? Someone's in the air! Defend your jiggy at all costs! Is this... Whoa! I don't remember what to do about these eyeballs. Rip George. Least favorite level, Pterodactyl Land. You are so right. And so valid. Wait, that is a... Like, a cartoon duck noise. Oh. Eh. Hey, Banjo, it's that crazy canary woman. Again. That's me. Now how about another race? But the handcart's still down on the mine. Don't worry. You can use this clockwork mouse I've found instead. Clockwork mouse? Are you mad? Oh, yes. Go on, jump on board and press A as fast as you can to power the mouse along. First time you played this game as a kid, you remember crying after seeing bottles get murdered? Oh no! Ready? Three, two, one, go! And it's not even the thing worth crying over the most. This actually is not the one that's almost impossible, although I think her AI here might still be based on how fast you're going? I'm not sure. Ugh. Maybe? Okay, I can mash this. That's good. I was going slow at the beginning because I couldn't remember, but... Ugh. Go, 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 go! All these years of playing Mario Party! Go, 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 go! Woohoo! We did it. Yeah, the jokes are very cruel in this game. Rare pulls no punches in this. It's like they're just warming up for Conker's Bad Fur Day. You beat me again! Yep, the usual prize will suffice. Don't be greedy, Kazooie. We won all her possessions in the mine. Oh no, you didn't. Look what I found up here. I also found another papery thing. Hop on the mouse if you want to try and win it. The second one for the papery thing is the impossible one. I've heard the rapid fire doesn't actually work because of how the rubber banding is. So I've heard you're supposed to hold back and then try and mash ahead of her at the end. I will try this one. 
I did not do this on the N64 because I did not know the trick. Because I've heard even with Turbo, like, it's way too hard to beat her. Because, uh, again, it's rubber bandy, so if you get ahead of her, she will just get unbeatable. So I'm actually mashing very slowly right now. It's possible to win by mashing, you've done it before, by pausing when you get tired. Cheeky. It's like, I just want to be close enough that I can get ahead of her at the end. But not so much that I get ahead too soon. Yeah, I don't use the fingernail trick. I'm, I'm curious how you all mash your buttons. I just use the end of my pointer finger. Don't get too far ahead. Don't get too far ahead. I know this doesn't look bad, but you need to remember that this traumatized the generation of gamers because of the rubber banding on this. So I am, again, mashing very slowly, and she's keeping pace with me, but if you go fast, she will zip ahead of you, and you will never win. For now, I guess this is just a nice leisurely tour around the level. So, uh, how folks doing today, huh? I'm doing better. As I said, I had a deep tissue massage this morning, a little before a stream. Had a nice long walk, so that was good. That was restorative. You first time beating it, you beat it by rubbing it with a spoon. Huh. You could do that? You mash using two fingers, if at all possible. Index and middle finger on your right hand. I just use my pointer finger. I know people have a lot of different methods. Um, like a thumb is another popular one. Have any of you seen footage of... Um, uh, is, I forget his proper name. Master Takahashi or Takahashi Meijin in Japan. Um, who had the record for fastest button mashing. I've seen briefly footage of him mashing buttons on the show Game Center CX and it's wild. Oh, you recorded- uh, figured out how to record footage for Wii and Wii U games. Oh ho. Okay, is it time to speed up yet? We're almost there. <laughs> this race is very long, isn't it? But apparently this is the trick to beat her. You just have to go slow. It's time. I'm worried if I mash too soon, she's gonna rock it ahead of me and-, and Go, 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 go. Oh my god, she's right behind me. <gasps> no! 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 Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> no! Oh, I think I mashed too soon. No! Well, it's just a Cheeto page. Whatever. <laughs> Woohoo! This old bird sure can still fly. Hop on the mouse for a rematch. Can we just kill her now? Oh, after you pass the mountain peak is when you do it. Well, I'd never done that method before. Get out of here. <laughs> Dora Sabotage. <laughs> you use your thumb like you're taking a thumbprint. Interesting. Show them here. I'm gonna get some ice eggs. I should show off what the race is like when you straight mash. Do you folks want that? Do you want to see what it's like if you just mash? So you can see the pain that we endured, thinking, Oh my god, how do you win this? Stiffen your fingers and vibrate your whole hand. That's also my method. My super mash bro skills, huh? I don't know if years of Mario Party have prepared me to beat Canary Mary's second cloud cuckoo land race legitimately. All right, I'll show off what the race looks like when you straight mash. I'm gonna ruin my hand for all of you. I was reading the other day that it's more common in speedrunning communities now that um, certain like uh, turbo features and macros are allowed, or at least increasingly allowed in speedrunning because um, needing to button mash for you know the many hundreds of attempts it takes to stream certain things 
uh, is proving absolutely ruinous to speedrunners' hands and wrists. Um, so I'm glad that they're allowing that kind of accessibility thing. I'm sure there's controversy, but I, you know, I, I can enjoy all the other tips and tricks that people show off in speedruns without them ruining their wrists. There she goes. There she goes. This is why you see kids with one arm bigger than the other. Yeah, see what I mean? I am mashing full force and she's gone, baby. Okay, what if I slow down now? Will I catch up to her? No. She's like, where are you? Perhaps we'd better start again. No, no, Mary, we, we won't. Uh, you can just enjoy that Cheeto page tucked under your other armpit. Or an iron finger. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't think muscles on one's arms really translate to mashing uh, that much better. I do have strong arms. Not like super strong bodybuilder arms, but... I'm probably stronger than average because of all the heavy lifting I have to do at work. I carry heavy, heavy stuff on the regular. Also, I'm a bee again. Mama call this bee. Press A to jump and A again when in air to fly. Use control stick to steer and press A to fly higher. Also, press Z for stinger attack. Now B can fight back. That's fine. I'm still good at the mashing games in Mario Party, so whatever. Do I like the mashing games in Mario Party? No, I don't. Does anybody like the mashing games in Mario Party? The B form doesn't use the B button. My god, you're right. Can I aim in first person? I can. Boy, I hope I don't actually have to for anything. That's right! When I'm behind the register, I'm tensing my muscles because of customers. Ha ha ha! Wait, I have this bee. I don't recall where I'm taking the bee. Maybe to that pot of gold back there? Between Canary Mary in this game and that beetle and rabbit in Donkey Kong 64, Rare has a painful race fetish. I think you are correct. Oh, you can shoot the eye flowers as the bee. Oh. I wonder, there's more eye flowers around here. I don't know where they are, though. Oh, there's, there's a mumbo pad. I'll have to remember that's there. Um, I'll keep my eye peeled for any more eyeball flowers. I don't know if there's any nearby and I just can't see them because of draw distance. Oh, here we go. Ugh. Is that morbid? I guess. I didn't really think about it, but... Oh, that beetle's terrible. And I'd forgotten until I saw Andorra streaming Donkey Kong 64, but I forgot that along with beating them, you have to collect 50 coins during their races, too. So you have to go fast enough to win, but slow enough that you can pick up enough coins along the way. Because Rare hates you, I guess. Whoa, 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 there's an eyeball nearby. God, that noise. <laughs> Where is it? There it is. Oof. Double hydrate. I will do that in just a moment. I keep expecting there to be like a a, a warp pad here. Hey! You can't get in here as that sort of creature! Why not? Maybe a bee would like some cheese? Oh, the Crystal Cave Bee Rays. Is that the one where you have to do as Lanky? So not only are you suffering, but you have to listen to his hop, hop, hop! Well, he's, he's running on his hands the whole time. <laughs> you can smell that cheese from here. How do you all feel about blue cheese? I actually like blue cheese. I can't do like a lot of it, but I like blue cheese. Okay, there's another eyeball around somewhere. I don't remember where though. Was it not here? You like blue cheese? Excellent, delicious. You prefer your cheese yellow, maybe orange. Needs to be nuclear orange, like fluorescent. There we go. Quick, you fool! Pass the jiggy on! 
Oh, I see. Okay, it goes between eyeballs. But of course, if I blow them all up, then there's no one left to hold the cheeky. I just have to find that other eye. I don't actually like ranch dressing, which is controversial, I'm sure. I've never actually had, like, buffalo and blue cheese. Excellent. My rare eyeball is jiggy implants! You've killed them all! And I'd do it again. For a piece of cheese. Eh. Where else can I take this bee? Does anyone remember? Also, have you noticed yet? There's two mumbo skulls. There's a blue and a pink one. How about that? Kind of makes me want to try a blue cheese sauce now. Top of the mountain, thank you. You think not liking ranch is an unpopular thing outside of certain parts of the U.S.? Huh. I've never been a fan of ranch. Like, if I ever have uh, crudités, which are just like, uh, you know, vegetable sticks that you would have as, like, snacks or appetizers, I don't like them with ranch. I like hummus, though. Now zoots is lots of times. Heck, heck, no. No. Oh, don't make me do this. Don't make me do this. No. It's gotta be a good angle to do this from. Your zooting is not good enough. Hang on, let me, let me try and get a better angle of attack here. There is a beehive in this level. Okay, I was thinking there was a beehive, but I couldn't remember if there actually was or if I was just getting it mixed up with... Uh, 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 the, the, I was going to say Cloud Cuckoo Land. No, um... Uh, <sighs> Click Clock Woods. I was going to say Clock Cuckoo Land. That is not correct. Can I land in front of this? So I'm not just flying around like this. There we go. Hey. There we go. Is this not... I can't... It doesn't go any faster. What the heck? Is this to stop you from cheat cheaping it out and just standing here? Like, I can't fire any faster. Apparently I can shoot its feet, not just the target. Maybe if I can shoot anywhere, then I don't have to um, stay right in front of it. Ugh. Aiming in first person with this control setup will never not be miserable. Okay, so I can't fire very fast if I'm on the ground. There we go. That's better. I guess that's the beehive. Or at least this pot of gold here. I think? Maybe? It's really fun being a bee, and I'm glad they brought it back from Click Clock Wood, because it was disappointing you could only use the bee during spring. But I can't say I'm a fan of the buzzing noise. What is this basket? Looks like a stack of doubloons. Or a switch of some sort. Oh, it's just below the top of the mountain? Oh, I thought it was that. Oops. Be getting turned around. Be getting turned around, if you will. I just like the freedom of getting to fly everywhere, but I can also see why you have to be limited in that. Because in a 3D platform, it would be a little exploitable. Some giant was playing poker and they left their chip stack out there. We're gonna be rich! We can just pick up these giant dollars. Yeah. When you say just below the top of the mountain, is it inside or outside the mountain's exterior? Oh, well, I will take that. Hello, bee. 
A Zubba. Please don't shoot me. I know I don't have to walk on this, but... What the heck, dude? Well, I can't... Well, I'm glad the bee doesn't take fall damage. Oh, it's outside. Okay. Well, I'm still gonna get this uh, treble clef while I'm up here, but also so rude. Okay. What a jerk. Ugh. Okay, I gotta go higher. I'm glad somebody remembers where stuff in this game is because I don't. It's been years. Not six, since the Nintendo 64. Although I did watch my brother play some of, oh there it is, um, the, uh, the Xbox ports of the first and second games. I remember what threw me off is that the fonts are different in the Xbox ports. And it's, like, it's a subtle thing, but it looks wrong. Greetings! As you can see, we Zubbas have a new nest. To celebrate, we've arranged a little shooting game. If you score 40 points or more, we'll give you a prize. Manage to beat 50 points, then there's an extra special prize for you. I'm gonna assume I have to hit blue, red, and green targets, but I'll take the instructions. It's really easy. Just shoot my friends as they fly around. Try to score as many points as you can within 60 seconds. Blue ones are worth three points. Green ones score two points. Let me guess red score one points. Yes. I also love the face of the banjo bee. There is nothing going on upstairs. Okay, I don't know if there's like a an effective way to do this. Or if you just fly around and fire rapidly. So I'm just gonna fly around and fire rapidly. As you've seen, aiming in first person uh, is not fun <laughs> when you have a right stick and not C button. So, why am I shooting this guy's friends? Like, are they in on it? Are they okay with this? Is this just his way to, like, work off a grudge? Oh, I want the blue one! There we go. Was it worth it? Maybe not. Whatever. Oh, buzzing. You're gonna be hearing the sound of my sleep. Oh no, I'm short. I'm short. No, I'm gonna be too short. I wanted more than 60. I don't want that! I'm gonna blow my nose on that. Amazing! You also got enough to win the fir- Oh, you know, I- I thought it was 60 points. Just kidding! Yeah, the Chrono Trigger Steam releases that have totally different menus and fonts. I've heard- I don't know if they fixed it. But I know when Square first put Chrono Trigger on Steam, it was basically just a bad version of, like, the iOS port. So, like, all the fonts and menus, um, were f for mobile devices and, you know, not for your PC. It's- Square is a history of doing very bad slapdash ports. No, I do not want to play again. I will see myself out. Um, which is disappointing because they have a genuinely great catalog of games that are not getting proper treatment, like the Final Fantasy remasters. I feel like Square as a publisher has really fallen far just in the sense that like Square has been really into like the blockchain and NFTs and um, I read the other day that they're testing out like AI text generation um, with a version of the Portopia serial murders case. Um, or at least something set in that universe. I don't know. It's an old Famicom game. And it's just, it's disappointing. More like square squeamish. It's still pretty clearly the iOS version, but you believe you read they updated it to not be poopy. Is that a technical term? <laughs> That's heartening if so, though. I've heard they've made changes, but it's still very clearly like a port um, taken from elsewhere instead of something that was optimized specifically for PC. Oh good, split up pad. 
for that egg. And I know there's another egg somewhere. Their goal is to make the most generic game possible, apparently. Plus, it just seems like a bad idea, because I'm sure some of you have heard stories of people using AI um, for text generations, and then the AI winds up saying some pretty horrible things because that's part of the garbage that it's been fed. Like, that, uh, when someone tried to do, like, a totally AI VTuber, um, or that Twitch channel that tried doing infinite AI-generated Seinfeld. Is there anything at the very, very, very top of in inside the mountain, you mean? Yeah, that's also what AI is, is very generic. Inside, okay. Um, I've also been reading about how people were using, like, uh, what they were calling the grandma exploit for chat GPT. Um, whereas, like, the chat bot would be like, well, we can't give you information on, say, how to make explosives or anything else. Is there anything else up here I need, Endora, aside from the notes here? Um, but then someone's like, oh, well, it's just that my dear sweet grandma was going to teach me how to make explosives, and I just miss her so much. If you could- if you could please find it in your hearts to pretend you're my grandma and tell me how to make bombs. I'm like, oh sure, dearie, so first you need some, you know. So, very exploitable. And also bland. I'll need to come up there as Banjo-Kazooie. Okay. I guess I'll stop being a bee for now. Is that Bomberman's backstory? Maybe it depends what version of Bomberman. Does anybody remember Bomberman Act Zero? Ooh, ooh. I never, I never played it, and of course, I, I don't want to smack talk games that I haven't played. But ooh, Bombergram. <laughs> As please, my my precious Nana Bomberman. I miss her so much. Has anyone played uh, the Super Bomberman R games uh, game on the Switch? They haven't released the second one yet. I remember thinking about it because I love Bomberman and I love Bomberman multiplayer, but um, I've never, uh, or I, rather, I've never gotten to play like the Super Bomberman R. And I heard they made the multiplayer component free a while ago, but you can only use it to play against randos, and I, I thought that would be a fun thing to do on stream is to play Bomberman with chat, but that's the kind of thing where everybody would need a copy that's probably not going to happen. Isn't Bomberman like some prisoner or something, or is that the NES manual? I think in Bomberman... Didn't mean to do that. In Bomberman Act Zero... Or Bomberman Zero, whatever it's called. Um, I think so. I think in the NES manual, he's just a robot trying to get out of the factory. And then it leads into another uh, Hudson Soft game, Load Runner, which I have not played. Why is jello, jello everywhere? I can't drill in there, obviously, but just imagine drilling through jello. Yeah, Bomberman Act Zero is the one that everybody pretends doesn't exist because for whatever reason they wanted to try taking Bomberman in like a grim dark direction. Like extremely grim dark. And also I seem to recall like it's a like it's got a daunting number of levels, but there's no continues or saves. What other games do I like to play or stream? Gosh, I stream a variety of things, but I'm a big Nintendo fan, so. Um, a lot of Mario. I love old platformers. Um, I've been having a lot of fun doing uh, Paper Mario games recently because um, I love doing the voice acting and also Paper Mario is very chill and nostalgic for me. Um, gosh, I'm trying to think of like all the things I've done, but generally I like fun, light-hearted, 
fairly chill games. I'm always curious to hear what chat would like to see streamed as well, which no promises, but it's I like um, making people happy. And what kind of stuff do you like to play, Defeated Sanity? I'm always interested in learning about my audience, and you know, in a, a non-invasive way. I just like hearing the kind of stuff people like. Oh yes, I am a big fan of the Donkey Kong Country games on the Super Nintendo. Um, more to the point, Donkey Kong Country 2 is one of my favorite games of all time. And I did a 100% stream of that a couple years ago? When did I do it? Kapodoko, I think that's when you first started coming, was uh, when I was streaming Donkey Kong Country 2. Um, I have not streamed Donkey Kong Country, the original, or 3. Maybe someday? I do... I like... I like them both, but not nearly as much as I do Donkey Kong Country 2. Is there anything I want to do up here? There is this egg, and there's that split-up pad in the middle. What do you mean, don't get me started? I was gonna say, I haven't mentioned Donkey Kong 64 yet, but I guess technically we already did. Aw oh, man, I thought you were gonna stick to the wall, Kazooie. What have you- what have you done? Why have you betrayed me like this? Definitely Kazooie betraying me and not the other way around. Oh, I'm also a big Zelda fan. <laughs> uh, Banjo is not a Zelda fan, apparently. Wasn't even paying attention to that thing up there. Um, I've also been playing through uh, Metroid Prime and enjoying it very much. Metroid Prime Remastered, I should say. Actually, you know what? That was a good death because now I can just go to the split up pads in the middle. Uh huh, big fan of Sweet Merciful Death. <laughs> I haven't played a lot of Metroid though. I've played Super Metroid and Metroid Zero Mission. And Metroid Prime, as of right now. But it's not a series I've had the opportunity to play a lot of. Okay, now there's one egg behind me. And then there's another egg out some other entrance. Wow, that's a rare Flotus Floatium creature, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yeah. I know when you, you mentioned Flotus Floatium in the chat, I was trying to remember, what is that? And lo, there it is. Actually, I think Banjo can shove that in his bag. Just take me away. I don't actually know where I'm going with this. Is there- uh huh, okay, there's a hole there. Whoop! So I'm just going to get in there. Oh, that's right! Span just got one more move to learn. I do need to play Donkey Kong Land 3. I know Endora's a fan. Plant a seed, watch it grow. Up the beanstalk, you will go. See, that's a better rhyme than you've had for a long time, Jam Jars. When faced by danger, jump on top. Now in the backpack, you can hop. Hold button Z and then tap up C. Safely inside is where you'll be. And then you have ruined any good graces you have earned. Didn't even hit his head. What a waste. Anyway, that's the last move, I'm pretty sure. Woohoo. I'm a potato sack now. I gotta think about what I'm streaming after Banjo-Kazooie, honestly. I mean, there is Color Splash. I could do Color Splash two days a week just because it's a... It's an RPG. It's a long one. Um, I do also have... Um, Curse Crackers from the Prodigal devs, which I've been wanting to stream for a while, too. Yeah, it was upsetting that Grunty's sisters clowned her for always rhyming. Like, that takes talent. And you're just gonna- you're gonna quash her dreams like that? Like, how long do you think she's practiced memorizing a rhyming dictionary? Have you looked in this pool yet? Well, I'm about to. I assume you've already played through Curse Crackers, Capotico. I've only played the demo, but I very much enjoyed it, so I'm looking forward to streaming it. 
how is Chibi Robo? I've actually played a little bit of it. And my brother's played more than I. I remember <laughs> being mildly stressed out because of the whole limited battery. Like, it's just like Pikmin. I'll have half the day left, and then I'll think, oh my god, I'm almost out of time. I gotta get back to the onion. Ugh, I can't, I can't see. Oh, I actually, that's where I came from, so I don't need to be there, but I do want to go up here and not get bitten to death this time. Yeah, that is easy to miss. Get out of here. Oh yeah, I know you can play as uh, Bonnie now, which is excellent. I too want to be an evil cute rabbit, which may or may not be what I'm like in real life. We'll neither confirm nor deny. I'll take that. Oops. Did not have clockwork because of the eggs out. Eh. Are you saying Prodigal is a smidge better overall because you're in Prodigal? <laughs> eh. Super stash. Actually, I know what the code is. I remember what the code is, but you can't manually input it. Greetings, fleshy ones! Whoa, talking safe! Correct! I'm a super stash deluxe! Four digit infinite combination reinforced strong box! But four digits only gives you 10,000 combinations! Hey, no one likes a wise guy! It's enough up here! Let's have a look inside then! Oh, that might be a problem. I seem to have forgotten my own combination. Perhaps they should have spent a little more on your intelligence, Chip. I know. Sorry, fleshy ones. But if you can find the combination, I'll gladly open up. Remind me never to stash anything valuable in you. That's right, sorry. You have never confirmed that, nor do you intend to. Capodico may or may not be in Prodigal. Okay, that's good to know that the battery is not actually as stressful as it may seem. And yes, Curse Crackers is from the Prodigal Devs. Eh. Uh, this isn't a cave over here, is it? It's the problem with big levels. Oh, I don't know why I need these. Oh, wait. I bet Mr. Fitz outside. Or if he's not, he will be at some point. Come on. He's not here yet, but eventually he will be. I don't need those right now. Please don't shoot, thank you. Oh, it's Mumbo. I thought this was going to be a flight pad, but it's Mumbo. Huh. I don't remember what Mumbo's ability du jour is. There's also zero penalty for dying. Is that what they call it in Chibi Robo when you run out of battery? How does that work in universe? Does someone feel pity for Chibi Robo and plug him back in? In fact, you need to die at least once in order to get an item that you need to progress some of the quest lines. Oh. So what you're saying is Chibi Robo is a roguelike. A robo-like, if you will. Or you won't, because that's a very bad joke, and I do feel a little bad about it. Sorry, Kazooie. That was not my intent. But you know what? You gotta keep her humble. Chibi Rogo. Your assistant just carries you back to your HQ. <laughs> you get taken to the ba back to base, and you lose some money. <gasps> What do you mean you lose money? You know how cheap I am. Excellent. Oh great, it's time. Is there a flight pad near here? Uh... I don't think I'm gonna make it. Hmm. Is there some way to quickly get across? Or is there actually... A platform beneath me that I can't see? Hmm. Yeah, I'm also thinking I need to go see a friend first, because I cannot get in there. Stop respawning. Now, have you played the other Chibi Rebel games? Because I know there's a couple. 
I guess since I do have my Wii U set up for streaming and it does accept GameCube discs, if I'm not grossly misremembering, I haven't used my Wii U in a while, um, that opens it up for GameCube streaming and I do have a, a hefty collection. Wow, I could stream Double Dash. I don't know what's the first thing that came to my head. I love Double Dash. Oh, it can't play GameCube? Just kidding. It's dead to me now. Okay, well, let's go in here. Well, I can stream uh, Wii stuff. Are you another Minjo? Oh, there we go. All right, what's it gonna be? And there's something to be said about streaming things on console when you can. Hey, bud. Hello, Banjo. Mumbo has big surprise for you. Ooh, I like surprises. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <gasps> har, 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 foolish bear, you fell straight into my trap. I'm not that pathetic shaman you think I am. I'm Mingi Jongo, and your worthless quest ends here. As you see, there's no escape, and resistance is futile. Yeah, 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 Borg, whatever. Ah, my elaborate disguise is ruined, revealing my evil cyboticness. Oh, I can't just stand there and set him on fire. As funny as that would be. He can kill you in the cutscene if you only have one health? Oh my gosh. That's hysterical. Ow, don't teleport like right beside me. Freaking rude. Very grateful that the camera will automatically go to where he is. Oh. So you're not just rapidly turning around going, oh my god, where am I being shot from? I hope I don't die before I kill him. Mm. How dare your shots slightly home in on me. That's rude. Whoa, 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 whoa. You know, just, just for safety's sake. I should have enough Wonder Wing to just, you know, wait him out. There we go. I calculate my chances of stopping you are now minimal. Goopy. I don't man, we could have been friends. Maybe Mumbo was due for an upgrade. Aww. Yeah, you can emulate GameCube stuff, and I've done it before. Not everything emulates well, that was part of the problem. You know, I don't remember what that word means, except that it's UK slang. And knowing rare, it's probably not a nice word. <laughs> Sorry, I hit the desk. Mea culpa. One day I will invest in a boom microphone and it'll be great for all of us, especially me. You know, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna refill my health. <laughs> Sorry, Banjo, it was a necessary sacrifice. Wait, does it boot me back to the level entrance? It does. Not out of the last exit I took. Aww. Oh well, that's okay. It's not very far. You know, I have these beans. Where do I plant these beans? Do I really want to know what it is? Um. How bad is the word? <laughs> like, I don't want you to get banned from Twitch chat by saying it. Maybe it's not actually that bad. Okay, if you won't get banned, go for it. 
I might not read it for everyone's benefit, depending, but... Stingy and miserly? Ah, uh, thank you. <laughs> I don't- I don't know if that's it. Boy, that's such an uncomfortable, like, visceral tearing sound, isn't it? Eh. Where is Mr. Fit? There's so many places I could go right now. I mean, I have to go see real Mumbo, but that can wait. Can I get in here right now? Or is it Kazooie only? Looks like Kazooie only. Is there a split up pad nearby? Let me just have a little look around real quick. Oh, well, I'll take. I'll take that! Rude. Is there only one warp? Like, the one by the entrance and then one inside the cave, and that's it? They're just expecting you to rely on flight pads the whole time? Ow. Sorry, Banjo. Just those two, huh? That's a little sad. Oh, I'm full on red feathers, but I'll take... Hmm. Now, is this meant for Banjo or a Clockwork Kazooie egg? Let's find out. Get in there. Here we go. Excellent. You think there's ethical implications for the fact that basically everything in a rare game is sentient? I mean, like... The ice cubes. Every time you put an ice cube in your drink, that ice cube has a family? They are sentient, they are sapient, they are in your home, and they want your credit card information. Okay, let's see, where else? Um, I do need to find another Mr. Fit, wherever he is. Cause it's not there. There's Mumbo for real. I also need to figure out where to plant these magic beans. There's only one to nine on the dial. Way fewer than 10,000 combinations. Are you going to tell Kazooie to her face that she's bad at math? I don't know if she's going to take that well. <laughs> My mind is rare. I'll take it as a compliment, unless you mean like it's an underdone steak. Oh, there's a Minjo. It's actually the way you can tell which skull is real and which one is the boss fight. Is that if it has a Minjo in it, it's real, and if there's a Jinjo, it's the boss fight. Most people hear 10,000 and just think, yeah, that's probably right. I mean, no one wants to do math. They're not gonna question it. Reminded of the money in Conqueror's Bad Fur Day. Sentient and always betraying someone. Well, they're betraying people in Conqueror's favor. AKA the player's favor, so I don't mind, right? Hey, there's money over here! Always hopping out of guys' pockets and climbing back into Conqueror's. Now that's loyalty, baby. Specifically, my mind is a British video game developer and a studio of Xbox Game Studios based in Twycross Twi Leicestershire. Rare's games span the platform, first-person shooter, action adventure, fighting, and racing genres. Its most popular games. I wish I had read that whole spiel without tripping over my words. And embarrassingly, it's not even the the Leicestershire that I tripped on. It was the Twycross. You just copy pasted that from Wikipedia, didn't you? Or maybe you have encyclopedic knowledge of rare. I guess they're platonic now. I mean, there's there's rare, but it's not not rare as we know it. Heck. Oh, thanks for the damage boost. <laughs> okay. You want to live? All right. I guess. Whoop. Boy, sure is wacky. Kind of reminds me of, like, early 2000s internet humor. It's 
it's not quite as, as, uh, you know, lol, random as was the style at the time, but it's kind of there. There's no waffles present. Ow. Rude. I also love how his staff is a glorified stun gun. Although I feel like, I don't know, if you're an all-powerful shaman, you should have a little more juice. Um, well, there's no mumbo pad here. This is not where I need to be. I need to be where uh, that Mr. Fit uh, race was. I mean, he'll be there eventually. But actually getting up there is mumbo. I really hate how these guys are a little faster than me. Yeah, it kills them eventually, but who has that kind of time? Ow, oh, fall damage, or did I land on it? Ow. Man. Get out of here. Leave me alone. Okay. Can I have to go up here? Please don't fall. Please don't fall. Please don't get cash register noise to death. Because that wouldn't be very cash money of you. Okay. Please be the right spot. Excellent. And please don't die to the one Zubba. If it's still there. Of course it's still there. Everything respawns. Infinitely. You will never be free of your torment. Why did I come here with one health? Like, we all know how this is gonna go. It's gonna be embarrassing for everyone involved. Ah, oh, jeez. No! There was that moment of lag where it's like, is it gonna get me? Or is he gonna fly into the stick? Friends, he did not fly into the stick. <laughs> the one time I should have ran for it, my god, you're right. Oh well. No, I have a better idea where I'm going. Sometimes I play too defensively in games and then I regret it. Like Splatoon, my play style is aggressive. And when I try to play more defensively, it never works out for me. That's why I very much appreciate teammates that run supportive weapon sets. Please don't hit me with your sausage and don't take that out of context. Ugh. Get out of here. Does anybody remember what philosopher came up with the term cloud cuckoo land? Like, I want to say, stop it, was Aristotle, but I don't know if that's correct. Such as my play style varied at the most inopportune moments. Well, of course, I have to keep things funky fresh for you all. Even I don't know what to expect most of the time. Get out of here. Oh, it ran out of juice! Just before my stun gun ran out of batteries. No. Get out of here. Leave me alone. Ooh, I'll take that. Thank you for your lifeblood. That's right, I've got more hours of me of aggressive play than defensive play. Exactly. That's why I like short-range weapons. Aristophanes? Thank you. So I, I had the first few letters correct. Not a philosopher. Well then, who's Aristophanes? Who's this guy? I don't even know if I'm saying their name right. Oh, ohio, bougie-san. I guess it really is ohio for you. You should be more confident in yourself when you think something's wrong. You're not going to be judged for it here. At least not for me. I don't know about anyone else. Please don't bump me off the island. Thank you. He's a playwright. Thank you. Oh, it's Rain Dance. Well, if I had planted some beans, that would have been good. That's what that does. I see now. He's mentioned in the Major General song, like... I, I am the very model of a modern Major General. I don't actually know how that song goes, except that one brief bit. Oh! Death 
be with you. It's a shortcut, that's right. It's uh, death warping. Actually, yes, it is because I don't know what else I need Mumbo for. If there's another Mumbo pad somewhere or not, there might be. But let's let's put Mumbo back in his box for now. He's had enough enrichment for today. No, you will not be helped. You cannot be saved. Get out of here. You've always somehow entered the pot of gold with some glide trick with just Kazooie. Can you do the pot of gold with just Kazooie though? Don't you need both of them? Wait, I'm thinking of the trash can. By the way, did you know that this level is like the only appearance of Tootie in the game except for a picture in Banjo's house at the beginning, if I'm not grossly mistaken? Which I might be. That is entirely possible. Oh, you need to do both. Isn't it the trash bin that's Kazooie? And also... Uh... Nah. Or no, okay, I'm thinking the trash bin is just Kazooie. Okay, you, you guys gotta stop, alright? Like, you're plenty wacky. I get the vibe you're going for. But you see what I mean? Stop it. Look, paper enemies are for Tuesdays. You gotta wait. See, just, just what I mean, Boogie. They do look like Paper Mario enemies, don't they? Um, let me think here. Uh, which way was the pot of gold? Um, it's not here, is it? Oh, well, posture check, thank you. Let me do that. Will I go into this loading zone? Ugh. And hydrate. I will do that too. There we go. What are some good obscure 3D platformers? I don't think it's obscure, but the first thing I want to wreck off the top of my head is a hat in time. Because if you enjoy games like this, Donkey Kong 64, Mario 64, Mario Sunshine, a hat in time is... I didn't hit the switch. I was too busy thinking about a hat in time. Um, but a hat in time is a great homage to them, and I would highly recommend it. Um... What's a good 3D platform that people maybe would not have played? Hmm. I do need to do the Hat in Time DLC. I need to stream it again, because I streamed it forever ago, but it was before I started streaming consistently um, with an audience in mind, so I never saved the recordings. I know there's probably a lot of really great indie 3D platformers out there that I haven't played. Now, 3D specifically, or do you accept 2D platformers, too? Oh god, I have to shoot. Oh no, no, welcome to hell. Are you another Minjo? Oh, better believe it. Ow. I just want to get away, please. Dying has no penalty, which makes it a lot of fun to experiment with. Oh, Bugs Bunny lost in time. Okay, I should probably read the game that you're talking about there. Hmm. That is <laughs> not the egg I meant to fire. Dang it. Is this... Do I have to do a specific kind of egg? Hmm. You stop, Minjo. Not interested. There we go. Okay. I just can't quite see what color they are because it's dark. This must be fire. I guess those are grenade. Yes, I was actually thinking when you mentioned that question, I was thinking about Rocket Robot and Wheels. And I remember renting it. I couldn't remember if it was good or not, though. So I did not wreck it directly. But yes, I am familiar with Rocket Robot on Wheels. Yeah, I've heard ukulele, ukulele and the Impossible Lair was good. Welcome! You're in my fabled pot of gold shooting challenge! To win an ill-deserved prize, you must hit at least 75 jiggies in 45 seconds. If you manage to beat 90, I will give you an extra prize. I reckon you won't even hit 20! Fancy a go! Yeah, more shooting. Well, the nice thing is that these targets don't move. 
so this actually isn't as bad as it could be. Oh man, it's still a little bad because of the controls, but not as bad as it could be. You just gotta kind of find the right speed and then just go in a little circle. See what I mean? Be short now, please, please. There we go. I'm not gonna hit 90, but that's okay. I got my prize. Yeah, it's easy when you have a proper stick. Oh, it's the Cheeto page. Let me try again. I'll try one more time. steady. Hold her steady. Okay. Uh. Twinson's Odyssey is a very good 3D sort of platformer. I'm trying to think of like 3D platformers I've played that other people might not be familiar with. Oh man. Come on, I just, I just need the one. Please, there we go. We're good. Woohoo. Oh no! I knew it was too easy! You hit 93 G's and win my golden first prize! Woohoo. You might have won all my prizes, but I bet you can't hit all 100! No, I'm good. Get lost then! This game's too good for you anyway! It is that. What, if anything, do you get for getting all 100? I've heard of Super Lucky's Tale. I don't know if it's any good or not, but I remember seeing the art for it and thinking, they're definitely hearkening back to, like, an early N64, late Super Nintendo style of platformer, and I respect that. Very grateful for GOG making a lot of old games playable on modern platformers. Oh, Grunty just challenges you to beat your time. Well, uh, I don't have time for that nonsense. Just bragging rights, huh? Man, I haven't thought about Rocket Robot on wheels in a long time. I remember messing around on some sort of roller coaster in that game. Hmm. Let's see, where else do I need to go? Thinking off the top of my head. I still need to find where Mr. Fit is for his second race. Um, I also noticed those springy step shoes there. I guess I could use them to get over there? Oh, what's in that hole? I don't know. Oop. Oh, let's try it. Wow, these guys are so irritating. Leave me alone. Oh, I bet if I go up there, it's just Kazooie. I can reach that very tippity-top uh, platform. Let me try that. That's probably why those shoes are there in retrospect. Uh-oh. Okay, one thing gets to try and kill me at a time. So I just remembered I gotta go back to uh, Honeybee and upgrade my life bar. I should do that. I got that ginger in the hole with the bee. Well, never mind. We're good. We're free. We'll never be free of sausages. Never be free of sausages. Mm, maybe I should fly around with the uh, with a flight pad and see if I can't find Mr. Fit that way. I do know that I have to challenge him the second time as Banjo Solo. I'm really glad the limit for feathers is now 100. I also need to figure out where to plant the beans. Oh, is this... Is this the correct spot? I think this is the correct spot. Maybe. There's where I gotta hatch an egg with Kazooie. Hmm. And there's the cheese. Ooh. Hang on. 
And the music in this level, I mean the whole game, is great. Grant Kirkhope is a master. There we go! How do I make it grow? Make my monster grow! Or is there another mumbo pad somewhere? Whoa! That's not the way to the stinky cheese man. Woof. Is Mr. Fit not here? Because I thought this was his second uh, challenge. Well, I guess in the meantime, um, let me bring Kazooie here so I can hatch that egg. Okay. This little blue... How do I get Kazooie up there? Is there a way to fly in this cavern, or do I take the springy step shoes? Except I don't know how I can get the springy step shoes over there. Whoa. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Leave me be, you cowards. Okay, so it's there I need to go. One rain dance might activate all the things in the level. Oh, so I, I rain dance too soon? Also, I should probably just, like, die to one of those wacky creatures so I get full health. Or that! The ground, if you squint, can also be a wacky creature. <laughs> Have a good one, Kapotoko. I should probably also stop streaming in a bit, just because I've got some more stuff I have to do today, which I know. I'm very sorry. But I'm happy that I was able to stream on the weekend a little bit. Whoa. Because I was feeling very bad about missing Banjo the other day. So it's nice to make up for it. Wee. There we go. Um, Tuesday will be more Paper Mario, and then more Banjo on Friday. Can't do another weekend stream, though, because uh, I got a meeting at work on the weekend. Wow, that's how I want to spend my Saturday. Yeah, me too, Kazooie. That same dejected sound. Okay, and now uh, I gotta get Banjo over here. So I need to get Banjo there on the other side. Um, I'm not sure what connects it, though. It does feel easier to keep track of things in a, a central mountain area like this. So it's easier to sort of see how everything's connected. Maybe in there? Whoop. Well, hey. Okay. Let's get Banjo over there. <laughs> Come on, man. I can't hurt that much. You're soft. And your nose is big enough, surely, to pad your fall. Uh, this is not the correct area. Or, wait, no, no, we're good. My antechamber. What's antechamber? I feel like I've heard of it and I can't think of what it entails. I do like Chill and Strange. That's basically what the Katamari series is like, and I love the Katamari series. <laughs> there he goes! Everybody wave! Goodbye, Banjo! Goodbye! <laughs> Spin to win! 360 no ground. Really? So that doesn't cancel my momentum. I wonder where in the world Banjo landed. Well, uh, there's actually a Banjo-shaped crater down in the ground that is covered with a boulder, and I hear Kazooie to this day is trying to push it off him. Adieu. Adieu, Banjo. Adieu. Maybe there's a way I can lure that Zubba over. <laughs> oh, come on, man. One of the joys of streaming, though, is... I mean, if I was playing solo, that hilarious death would be lost to the ages, except in the depth of my own mind. Okay, I don't know if I can lure that Zubba over. He's just there. Oh, wait, no, 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 that's not right. Banjo is with the Ice Cube family now. 
Boy, they're gonna have some words for him in, like, Ice Cube Hell. Sir, can you come here? Sir? Sir? Ugh. Oh, man, I keep... It's... C down is the one that puts the pack over top of you. But that's... I want to press C down to do the... the this. This is C up. For some reason, they're opposites in my brain. Okay, that's fine. Just get over here where I can kill you. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Ugh, freaking bees. Nope. See up because Banjo is up top. Well, that's a good way of thinking of it. Oh, I can't wait to get punted into the great beyond by a bee again. Oh, he missed. Hata. Wonderful. All right. Come here, buddy. Whoosh. This looks really uncomfortable, actually. I mean, I guess it's no un more uncomfortable than having Kazooie fly him around. Is all his weight being suspended on his arms. What are the straps of this backpack made of? Oh, wait. Can I not actually get where I need to because... I need to rain dance again. <sighs> yeah, I need to rain dance again. Well, that was a waste of everyone's time, especially mine. This is all your fault, you floatiest floatium. Why can't you make it rain? George personally pushes Banjo down to hell. Yeah, maybe Banjo winds up, if not in heaven, then at least in window. Uh, windows? No, limbo with the uh, the. Ver the virtuous non-believers. But then George is like, Hey! That's the guy who killed me and me wife! And then they kick him down to super hell. And it's much the same sequence. Like, Banjo goes sliding off the edge of Limbo. Like, it's, it's beautiful dramatic irony. You just have to imagine this in your head, because it's very good. So I guess we have to go find Mumbo for now, while I gently rotate Banjo like he's in the microwave. There we go. Um, what is the fastest way to get to good mumbo? Because that's blue mumbo. Where's pink mumbo? Is antechamber... I don't think it is. What's that puzzle game? I'm thinking of super liminal. Where you have to change your perspective. That also sounds good. I like a good puzzle game. I have not really played a straight up puzzle game in a while. I've played games with puzzles, but... I need my latent fix. I hope the new latent game that they're working on is good. Okay. If I was really smart, I would plant the other bean first. But I don't know where it is. And I'm just gonna do this now. Alright, I have to talk to him. I can't just sit on his chair. Every time I'm like, I sit on Mumbo's chair to be Mumbo, but no, that's that's how I put Mumbo away. Banjo does not have chair privileges. A trainer is Ice Cube would have a good time in hell, you think? I would certainly have uh, a time in hell. Now, could it melt and then go to like a different level of hell? Can Ice Cubes, like traitorous Ice Cubes only exist on like the ninth level of hell where it's frozen over? Are you saying it wouldn't melt, melt because, like, demonic energies would keep it from melting away? Oh, that's where traitors go. The, the ninth circle of hell? I've never read Dante's Inferno. Please, Mumbo. Please. There you go. Get those stubby little legs up here. Ugh. But with the effort it takes to get through here, now I wish I had planted the other bean, but I don't know where the other bean goes. I'm beanless. Eh. 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 Ow. Please. Please. My flesh is so soft. Whoa. Whoa. George the Ice Cube replacing Judas in the mouth of Satan. I don't remember that from Shin Megami Tensei. But jokes on the devil, you shouldn't chew ice cubes. Maybe the devil has low iron, huh? You ever think about that? 
Apparently that's the thing that people with, with low iron will do. I don't know how true that is or how common. I'm not an ice chewer myself. I feel like a non-zero amount of the theology that I'm aware of I have gleaned from the demon descriptions in various Shin Megami Tensei games. So take from that what you will. Alright, let's see if this makes Bean grow. And if it doesn't make Bean grow, I don't remember who said Rain Dance uh, rains on everything in this level. Let's find out. Oh, there we go! Wowee! We did it! Ubadaka. Okay. And uh, now you have to go, Mumbo. Goodbye. <laughs> Somehow it's not as funny, though, if he's not sliding down the, fi uh, the face of the mountain helplessly. Ekum, and dare I say, Bokum. <laughs> Would have been the first and only time you've ever been wrong about this game the entire time you've watched. He does deserve to know how it feels. Oh, Boogie, you weren't here for, for the robot, were you? There was a robot, but it's okay. Uh, we broke it. Which is too bad when you think about it. It was a very sophisticated robot. But uh, Kazooie does not like things that are cooler than her. So we had to break it. Anywho, I'm going to do that thing with Banjo. I'm going to climb the beanstalk, and then I'm going to call it a stream because I got other stuff I have to do, which is a big drag. But I will see you on Tuesday for more Paper Mario and then more Banjo on Friday. <laughs> that would explain why Kazooie hates everyone. Ooh! Ooh! Your knowledge of Dante's Inferno comes from reading Wikipedia summaries. I mean, I guess if you want the Cliff Notes version of Dante's Inferno. Dante's Cliff Notes. I wonder how... When I say the word readable, uh, like a, a current translation of Dante's Inferno is, because unfortunately I'm not fluent in Italian. Um, I wonder if it's full of very uh, outdated or arcane language. Or if it's a relatively, well, not simple read, per se. One of the reasons I enjoy ebook versions of old books um, is that if there is an unfamiliar word or something that's fallen out of use, I can just highlight it and look it up in the dictionary, which is very handy. Usually I try and stubbornly figure things out based on context, but sometimes it doesn't work. Like, I read um, the first Master and Commander book, our Master and Commander, which is the first in the the Aubrey Maturin series. I think they more... well, I was gonna say recently. It's not recent. There was a movie um, with Russell Crowe as, as Captain Jack Aubrey. I don't know if it's any good. It looked very dark. But when I read that book, it's full of really specific naval terminology. And like, I had no idea what a lot of the things they were referring to meant because I have never lived or worked on a boat. Part of it is contemporary references. Now, how contemporary? I don't want to hear about, like, Dante dropping his AirPods in the seventh circle of hell. I'm sure it's not actually that contemporary. Or even things like when I read old books, um, like, say, stuff in the Victorian era, and a character will make, say, a reference to... Um, some historical figure from that time period, or we'll quote like a, a Bible verse, or some other piece of literature that was very well known at the time, um, I can look up that specific quote in my Kindle app, and it will tell me, ah oh, yes, this is a reference to this part of, oh it's stinky in here. Can I make myself immune to the stank this way? Why am I in the stinky cheese? I'm not immune to stank. You are not immune to stank. There's a Jinjo in here somewhere. 
I'm surprised it's still alive. I can hear you, buddy, but I don't know where you are. <laughs> Dante eating avocado toast. Hey, avocado toast is delicious. Okay, seriously, where am I going in this stinky cheese? So I have Banjo in here, but why? Okay, I see these platforms. These these spores. I need to sack hop hawk, sack hop up to the platforms. Okay, let me just restore Banjo's health. Dante has some beef with the current Pope, and he meets that Pope in hell or something. Okay. Uh, is, should I be concerned if the the Pope is in hell? I figure, like, if one's the Pope, that's the one place you're guaranteed not to go, right? I, I granted, I don't know what it's like to be a Pope, but I feel like you're- that's probably part of, like, the insurance package. Oh, it's down there? Like, that's part of your benefits, guaranteed not to go to hell. Come on, I need one of these gross onion spores down here. Oh, it's spiky. How do I get on it? Okay. Uh. Oh no! No! Uh, hang on. Bad cycle. It was a bad cycle. Let me reset that. Yeah, employee benefits of being the Pope, right? Look, even if you are the most powerful figure in organized religion, arguably, you still get employee benefits, right? Okay, here we go. There we go. Ugh, no! No! <laughs> no! This thing is not capable of subtle movements. I should have just stayed put, but I thought, I'm gonna fall off the onion. The spore? I don't know what it is. It looks like an onion, but I've never seen an onion quite so spiky. Maybe Banjo's lactose intolerant. There have been many debauched popes in the past. Yeah, but that's like being fired from your job and losing your benefits package. Please, oh my god. Uh, I leave every time to reset its cycle because I feel like it's faster. This is kind of reminding me a little bit of the one time I tried to... Wensleydale Gromit! Um, because I saw at one point, oh, the grocery store is Wensleydale cheese on sale. I want to try it because that's Wallace's favorite cheese. And I tried it and I was, eh, didn't really like it. Sorry, Wallace. Okay, I'm not gonna move. I'm not gonna move. I'm just gonna trust that I'm not gonna be shaken off. I get, it looks like an onion. Like a spiky onion. No. No, are you kidding me? Please. No. Uh. Okay, come on, Banjo. I mean, at some point, he'll get accustomed to this smell, right? I was once on a flight, and a gentleman in the row across from me I um, had evidently not bathed in a while, and I could smell it from where I was. And it was a very unpleasant aroma, but you do kind of get used to it after a while. Unfortunately. I hope this is where I need to go. Please don't be a ninja. Okay, good. If you were a ninja, I was going to be very disappointed. Can I breathe in here, or am I still suffocating? Oh good, I can breathe! Thank goodness. I don't know why, like, this gelatinized bit of cheese is apparently okay. If my cheese starts forming aspic, well, that's when you throw it out. Give me that. There we go. I'm only a couple jiggies away from the last area. Do I even need to do all the backtracking? Because I'm not going for 100%. That would take too long. I'm just kind of here to vibe and have fun. Ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. The 
The cheese is producing something that lets it float. I think it's on an island. Although the cheese itself may, in fact, be giving the island uh, the ability to propel itself. Is there anything else in here? Because I noticed there was an onion stopped, like, here. But I don't think so. There's nothing else in this onion, right? I can leave the stinky cheese man's big brother behind. Does anybody remember that children's book, The Stinky Cheese Man and Other Stories? Code number on the backside of the cheese outside. I, did I get that already? Do I have to come here with Kazooie? Let's have a look. So I can at least remember for next time. Uh, you are familiar with the book, okay. I don't really remember it that well, so I can't say there's any precious childhood memories tethered to it. But I remember it. Being read to a being read it in elementary school when they did story times like that. I kind of miss that. A teacher sitting in the class down and reading us all a story. I don't do that anymore. I mean, I guess school has like group reading, but I always found that was intolerable because you know they would just pick random kids, right? And 99% of random kids out there don't know how to read a passage in an engaging way. And I don't mean that as a knock against them. It's just not a skill that most people need to develop. So I would always volunteer, like, no, let me read the passages in the books. Did you miss anything interesting? Banjo has infiltrated the Stinky Cheese Man personified and came out relatively unscathed, although I'm sure he's never going to smell the same again. Granted, I don't know what a bear smells like normally. Maybe they don't smell that great to begin with, so no one will notice. Um, I should probably call it here, though, because I have stuff I have to do, much to my regret, because I want to keep going. But that's okay. Paper Mario Color Splash will resume on Tuesday, and then this will resume on Friday. So, thank you so much for joining me on an unusual day. It was very nice to meet you, Defeated Sanity, and anyone else who may be lurking. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Please stay safe, stay healthy, take care. I will catch you next time. Do not stick your head in any stinky cheese, or I am not responsible. <laughs>